Hi guys, in this video, we're going to look at how to install Fedora 40 on Oracle VirtualBox 7.0 with custom partitions. Now, Fedora 40 was released on April the 23rd, 2024, which is about one month ago from the time of making this video. And it ships with the latest features, for example, GNOME 46 and KDE Plasma 6. So to keep abreast with all the latest features that come with uh, Fedora 40, you can head over to Fedora Magazine forward slash what's new, what's new Fedora Workstation 40. So here you can have a look at all the new features that come with Fedora Workstation. All right, so you can just uh, scroll and uh, you can see the new enhancements in core applications. Uh, you can also see other applications have also received upgrades. And you can also see there are also other performance improvements. Okay, so now let's get started with installing Fedora 40. So the first thing you need to do is to download the ISO image for Fedora. And to do so, here I'm going to open a new tab and I'm going to type Fedora 40. So I'm going to hit enter. So I'm going to select the first search result. So this will take me straight to the official Fedora download page. Okay, so here we are at the official download Fedora page for the ISO images. So here you can see to the right, there are various ISO image files. So here you can see there's an ISO image file for the 64-bit systems. We have for the ARM systems and for power PPC 64LE systems. So our concern is to install Fedora on a 64-bit uh, virtual machine. So here I'm going to select Fedora Workstation 40 live ISO image. So here I'm going to click on this link here. So this will download the ISO image file. And as you can see at the top right corner, you can see the image is underway. The image download is underway. But I already have this image uh, locally downloaded on my system. So I'm just going to cancel that one out. Okay, so now the next step is to open my VirtualBox uh, application. So let me just uh, launch the Oracle VM Manager. So I'm going to click the icon to launch it. And here we go. So as you can see, I already have a few virtual machines already created. Now I'm going to create a new one for Fedora 40. And to do so, I'm going to click the new button here. So this opens the virtual machine creation wizard. So here I'm going to uh, I'm going to specify the name for my virtual machine, which I'm going to give it Fedora 40. So I'm going to leave the path to the VMs uh, intact. So here I'm going to select the ISO image. All right. So I'm just going to click this pull down menu, then uh, click on other. So this one will take me to the path where I've saved the virtual machine. Sorry, where I've saved the ISO image. So I'm going to click on it and click open. All right. Then I'm going to click next. So in this step, I'm going to select the amount of RAM and virtual CPUs that will be allocated to my virtual machine. So here I'm going to drag the slider. So here I'm going to specify something about 4GB, which is around 1496 megabytes. And for the processors, I'm going to specify three CPUs. Then I'm going to hit next. So here I'm going to specify the virtual hard disk uh, size. So here I'm going to give it something like 150 gigs. Of course, feel free to specify your preferred uh, hard disk size. So here I'm going to click next. So here you get a summary of all the configurations that you've chosen for your virtual machine. So take some time and go over uh, your, sele your selections, all right? And in case you need to do some adjustments, you can click back. So in my case, I'm satisfied with all the configurations that I've made, so I'm going to click Finish. So as you can see, the virtual machine is now listed together with other virtual machines. Now, one other thing you need to do is to come here to settings and uh, consider adding the video memory. Go to display and then uh, on the video memory, you need to drag this to something about uh, 80 megabytes. All right. So be sure to increase your video memory to something about 80 megabytes and uh, click OK. So this will enhance your video experience when using the virtual machine. All right. So now we are good to go. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, click start. 
So this will power on the virtual machine as you'll see shortly. So in your case, just give it a, a few seconds for the VM to power on. So this is what you'll get. So as you can see, the Fedora 40 virtual machine is powering on. So this is what you'll see. So I'm going to uh, maximize this. So this is the grab menu that you'll get. So use the Casa app key and select Start Fedora Workstation Live 40. All right, so I'm going to hit Enter. So in a short while, we are going to boot into the Fedora 40 Live Medium. All right, so the VM will take just about a minute or two to boot up. So just be patient as it does so. And now you can see the booting is almost complete and uh, you can see the Fedora logo at the bottom of your screen. All right. So once the system has fully booted, this is what you'll see. And uh, as you can see, we have a very artistic desktop uh, background for Fedora 40. OK, so you get a pop up with two options. The first is to install Fedora and the other one is not now. So when you click on not now, this is when you want to try out Fedora without installing it on your hard drive. So because our mission is to install Fedora, I'm going to go with this option here. So I'm going to click uh, install Fedora. All right. So the first step is to select your installation language. So by default, English is the pre-selected language and I'm OK with this. So be sure to select your preferred language and click continue. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, click continue. So this brings us to the installation summary step and we need to sort out a few configurations here. So I'm going to start with the disk partitioning uh, configuration. So I'm going to come here to system and I'm going to click on it. This gives us uh, the disk configuration and uh, as you can see we have our virtual hard disk uh, drive selected here. All right. So now that we want to uh, create custom partitions uh, what you need to do is to select custom here all right uh, otherwise if you want to if you want the installer to uh, automatically configure or partition your hard drive you can go with automatic so for now we are going to go with custom since our mission is to create our custom partition and uh, i'm going to click done okay so now this will give us a uh, options to create new mount points so here i'm going to go with the standard partition all right so i'm gonna click on this plus uh, button here to start adding a new mount point all right so on the pop-up that appears i'm going to specify the new mount point so i'm going to start with the boot partition all right so this one i'm going to give it uh, two gigabytes of space and then i'm gonna click add mount point so this will create the boot partition, which will appear on the left sidebar, as you'll see shortly. And here we go. So this is a boot mount point that you have created. All right. Then I'm going to repeat the same drill. I'm going to click the plus button here. So once I've created the boot, I'm going to create or specify the home directory. All right. So for this, I'm going to give it roughly uh 80 gigs all right and i'm gonna create i'm gonna click on add mount point so once again this will appear here so as you can see the home directory appears under uh, the data section all right so next i'm going to create the root uh, mount point which is denoted by a single forward slash uh, like that all right so for this i'm going to give it uh 60 65 uh yeah 65 gigabytes okay then i'm going to click uh, add mount point all right so now the remaining space i'm going to give it uh, i'm going to allocate it to swap all right so i'm going to click the plus sign once again and i'm going to specify swap okay and i'm going to give it uh six gigabytes 
All right. All right. So one other partition you might consider adding, especially if you are using an EFI system, is the uh, boot bio system so here i'm going to add this okay so this is especially useful if you're running a gpt hard drive so i'm going to search for boot bios or oh, sorry bios boot bios boot like that all right so this you just need to give it a few megabytes so i'm just going to give it something like uh, 50 megabytes all right then i'm going to click um, add mount point all right so now we are, we have we are done with our partition table so this is how our partition scheme looks like so we have the the home partition or mount point we have the boot partition we have the root we have uh, boost buyout the bo the bios boot uh, partition and we have the swap area all right so we are done with all the critical partitions okay so i'm going to click on done here okay so this is a summary of the changes that will be effected once we return to the main menu so i'm just going to accept the changes and click on this button here all right now the other selection you might want to configure is the time and date so this by default is set to uh, America so New York so ensure to select your preferred uh, time zone so okay currently I'm in I'm in Africa so I'm going to select Africa then I'm going to select my city so I'm in Nairobi Kenya so I'm just going to scroll all the way and uh, locate my city yes so here I am in Nairobi Kenya and I'm gonna click done All right, so for the keyboard, this is by default is set. This by default is set to US English. So unless you have or you want to add any other option, you can just click on this plus sign and you add your preferred keyboard option. All right, but for now, I'm just comfortable with the default selection. All right, so now to install Fedora 40 on the virtual hard disk on, on Oracle VirtualBox, I'm just going to click begin installation. So this is a process that will take about 20 minutes to install. So the installer will copy all the files from the ISO image to the virtual hard drive and make all the necessary configurations for the, for the virtual machine to run as expected. All right. So at this point, I'm going to pause the video and I'll be back once the installation is complete. So the installation is now complete. So with that, I'm going to click finish installation at the bottom right corner here. So I'm going to click finish installation. Once I've selected finish installation, now I'm going to restart the machine. So I'm going to click here and click the power button here and select restart. So this is going to restart the virtual machine. So here the system will restart automatically. So I'm just going to Go ahead and click the restart button to restart my Fedora 40 virtual machine. Now I realize that when I click on restart, I end up getting the same grab menu that I got in the first step when I started uh, installing Fedora 40. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to head over to devices, then I'm going to scroll over to optical devices, then I'm going to detach uh, the optical, the ISO image from the virtual drive. So I'm going to select this. All right. So just to confirm, it's no longer attached so you can see this is grayed out all right so now what i'm going to do is that i'm going to close this out and i'm going to power off the virtual machine right then i'm going to power it back on all right all right so now as you can see the virtual machine is powering on so we are going to see the next few steps that are required to complete the installation Okay, so once the system has fully restarted, you'll see this 
a setup guide that will walk you through or that will walk you through making an account and enabling some features so here i'm going to click start setup start setup all right and uh, here you can see you're prompted to you can see the privacy selection so here i'm just going to leave everything by default and i'm going to click next so here i'm going to enable third party repositories okay and i'm going to select next so enabling the third party repositories allows you to access external to access additional software from uh, external sources all right so here you'll be required to create an account so i'm going to provide my name so here i'm going to specify uh, james all right the with the full name and uh, which is, will also be the username then i'm going to click next I'm going to create a password so i'm going to provide my password all right then i'm going to confirm it all right so i'm going to click next and all done so fedora linux is now ready to be used and uh, now we're going to click start using fedora linux all right so you'll get a a walk a, a walk uh, a walkthrough tour all right so here uh, i'm going to just skip it for now all right so i'm just going to select skip all right so now i can finally start using my fedora system so as you can see the installation is quite easy and uh, it's quite user friendly to use uh, so this is your fedora on this is a new fedora workstation and uh, yeah so we have come to the end uh, of our video walkthrough so in this guide i've showed you how to install uh, fedora 40 on oracle virtualbox so that's it guys for this lecture so see you in the next lecture